Hi internet! Hello! Hello internet! Hello. Hello internet! Welcome to Code Panel. Code Panel. <laughs> yes, Code Panel. We don't we don't, we don't have a we don't <laughs> we don't have an English name, do we? No, no. we haven't changed the name from so, Norwegian to English. So Competition. Competition. What should this show be called in, Novi in English? In English. In English. In in the, in the real world. Direct it's, it's translation still is Code Panel. So yeah. Or the it code commission. doesn't work. Code, 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 commission. code crew. Code crew. Code crew. No. But code. Code. Coders. Something. 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 Dev department. Code. Dev department. Dev yep. Okay. Welcome to uh, Code Panel. We are a bunch of uh, developers mm -hmm. from Complete Group, so we need to do a, a short introduction to who Ooh. we are, because yeah. we because of all of our millions of users. Yes. Millions, <laughs> millions, of millions of millions. Millions of people talk uh, yes. English. Yeah. So I think that we yeah. are having million of viewers yeah. now. Yeah. Welcome, Thomas. Hello, Vida. Hello. I'm Thomas. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm a developer <laughs> here at Complet, <laughs> and and I am the lead software architect. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is my title. Welcome, uh, Pav. Hi, Pavnit. Pavnit Singso or Pav. I am a squad lead and a web developer. Ooh. That's, it's not as Mr. cool as... Fancy no, fancy. No, no, yeah. <laughs> it's not that easy for you, because <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, so. you have the Fancy Pants uh, three uh, you are word the, title. You have the title. Yes. Welcome, Simon. Thank you. And I am a web developer, mostly front-end, here in Complete Group. Yep. And I also do some analytics and tracking and all those kind of fun stuff that your ad blocker is probably blocking <laughs> all those scripts you are blocking away from me yeah. that's it's okay i like you anyway so <laughs> i do the same so it's okay and you're the youngest one i'm the youngest one yeah 17 18 yeah 13 and a half yeah okay yeah. just um, barely out of diapers yep. Yep. my name is vidar and uh, i'm a front-end developer as well mm -hmm. um so welcome well, this is us who are complete group pa I'm typing oh, in the chat. You're typing. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, Simon. <laughs> Who are Simon? Simon. 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 It's very. You need it, to say it's it correct. It doesn't English, sound please. right in English. <laughs> Who is Complete Group? Complete Group is oh. one of the largest e-commerce players in the Nordics. Yeah. And we I have think a lot we are of the largest in the Nordics. We are the largest in Nordics and one major player in Europe. Yeah. And we have a bunch of uh, stores that we make. Yeah. Yep. In Norway, Sweden, Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. Have some in Germany, but we don't make yeah. those. But no. But across different uh, genres or sections. Yeah. So mostly it's uh, electronics and stuff like that. But we also have some cosmetics, a pharmacy. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a bank. We have a travel agency. Some insurance. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We sell groceries, groceries, stores. Stores. yeah, and um, we have been broadcasting this show for uh, a year, almost, almost a year. Mm. Started uh, April last yeah. year, and uh, we've been broadcasting in Norwegian. Now mm. today we have turned English, as we said earlier, and we need a name. Yeah, but we have also been testing if we have been <coughs> all, uh, when we have only been talking. We have been trying to code. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to code all the time, or a bit more at least. Yeah, uh, more, more, gradually more. 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 Let's, yeah. uh, let's take it from there. Yeah, so let's talk more code. Yep. What are we going to do today, Vida? Okay, so um, <laughs> briefly, <laughs> we have <laughs> a lot of web apps. Yeah, uh, <laughs> in our platform, <laughs> and uh, our oldest one has been living for. 14 years, yeah, 15 so years or something. It's mm -hmm. called Chrome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, it uh, has been splitted, but and it has evolved 
from being a monolith to now being a part of a microservice environment. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it started with a ASP Visual Basic script. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, think so. Yeah. And uh, for my time. Yeah. <laughs> After several years, we are now .NET stack. MVC, MVC ish, yeah. or MVC framework, yeah. Uh, yeah, and running on IIS, yeah, still, and several services, lots of services. Yeah. But we are trying now to modernize it even more. Yeah. Last, you guys were on the conference, right? Yeah. We were. The two of you, Simon and myself. And the two of you. Yeah. You two weren't there. Two of us. No, you were there. in the Umbraco conference. Yeah, but I was in Web Rebels as well. But oh, we that <laughs> one! <laughs> that we really one! Yeah. What, what was that conference named? Well, that was the Progressive Progressive Web App Conference. Yeah, Summit. Uh, Summit. Summit. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for. Yeah. So that was in uh, that was in uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam, yeah. Cool. And that also was by uh, Google. Yeah. And they had uh, major browser vendor programmers there, both from the. Uh, I think the Samsung browser teams were there. Opera team, Firefox. Internet Explorer was there as well, or the Edge team. Edge team was there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so people who are nerd famous. Yeah, yeah. And all the other conferences that we attended, yeah. they talked well, about yeah. progressive web apps. Yeah. So, what is a pro are we a progressive web app? No, no, we're not. We have done the test, and we are apparently not. <laughs> um, so we need to do something. Yeah. To become progressive. Let's because we want to be progressive, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if we're not progressive, we are regressive. <laughs> so and puns uh, <laughs> English puns as well. That's nice. Oh, it's nice. Tough start. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring the code. And uh, yeah. everything we do, we try to do baby steps. Mm -hmm. We try to do small steps yeah. towards a goal. We, be Kestos. we believe that we need to deploy stuff often. Uh, to have any chance of getting into production. And uh, to do that, we have to do it in small increments. Uh, so we try to figure out what's one small thing we can do now to make it slightly better. Yep. And one of those things we are going to do today uh, to make our web platform slightly better. Yeah. So um, after today, we would be a progressive web app? Uh, we will be progressiver. Progressiver. Yes. Be just slightly. We would have <laughs> <a bit laughs> closer to. Slightly. We'll have progressed. <laughs> of <laughs> course, being a progressive yeah. web app. Yeah. And um, <laughs> previously, last year, we were only working on test projects. We were programming on. On this show. Yeah, on this show, of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> Because we did, when I say we did production code yes. uh, yeah. <laughs> throughout the year. This isn't Thank everything we do. Yeah. Oh, thankfully. No. thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we've, we've made a, a small app to kind of gauge um, the audience. Yeah. So what do you guys think about how we're doing? Yay um, or yay nay? Or nay? Yeah. Um, we have moment? that live right now. Uh, the URL is in the chat. Um, you can go in there and press the yay button. The you more yay you say, the greener the screen will be. Yeah, and it's uh, and you can press it multiple times. Yes. Yeah, and it's allowed it's to press the up yeah. button. And it's also, uh, it's also allowed, allowed to, to script it if yeah. you're good at <laughs> client side scripting. There shouldn't be that. Or much as trouble. our boss did last time, we tried this. He put a tape on the enter button and marked yeah. the yay button. We should film that. Yeah, yeah. Should but next time. Uh, Let's do. So we want to make some real code, like yeah. important, the, yeah. the thing that actually brings in the money. So our e-commerce platform, our e our main e-commerce platform, mm -hmm. which is called Chrome.net, ten years old. It's going to be slightly more modern after this. <laughs> <laughs> after this session, tiny step more modern. Yes, and we we have far to go. Yeah. So now we are going to. Code directly into our main application. Yes. Cool. Mm. Let's do it. Yeah. Should we just start? Are you ready, Thomas? I you are going to drive. So ready. Should we have a user comment, a a, yeah. a watcher comment first, or yeah. do you want to jump into that afterwards? I think uh, now it's a good time to take the one comment. Yes, let's yes. do that one comment. So basically, yeah. we got a comment in on the chat. If you're not on the chat, jump on. I'll uh, we'll do our best to answer. Mm -hmm. So. 
Agnet uh, sh- is, uh, sh- is, is asking, why doesn't Simon have a t-shirt? Mm-hmm. Does he feel superior to the other guys? He has a shirt. I always feel superior. <laughs> <laughs> with or without with a t-shirt? No, when I'm with you guys. <laughs> okay, I see. Thank you. It's very easy to feel superior in our company. So you basi- <laughs> basically, you forgot. Because your... I have all the power because this keyboard controls the whole stream. Yep. Then I need to have a shirt because uh-huh. it doesn't work without a shirt. Can you demonstrate how it works? Yeah, how I, you can I, control I can it? Press this button. Oh! And you can see them the names. Nice. But I, I'm not Thomas. It's actually. not correct, but yeah. uh, it, at least this is my name. <laughs> yeah. <somewhere. laughs> so you there. two have swapped. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Works. All right. So you are superior then. Yeah. Yep. Of course. Cool. Or We're out of focus. Or I'm sorry. T-shirt. That, that's also why I'm standing to the side of the camera. Yeah. Right. So let's try. Yep. Yeah. Coding. Are you ready, Thomas? Are we on my screen now? Yes. We are now. This is okay. Screen. So um, I was thinking, uh, what's the progressive WAP? WAP. WAP. <laughs> WAP. <laughs> progressive WAP. 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 That is a good, <laughs> yeah. so good name for what it. What is it? Well, it's supposed to be reliable, fast, and engaging. And part of the uh, engaging uh, is that it's supposed to kind of look like a, a an app. On your device uh, yep. and um, one of the things that apps can do on devices is that they ha- have more control of the entire view screen than um, than a website usually has um, and that gives them the ability to theme the entire experience slightly better uh, a lot better in some some cases so if you go on our website uh, with uh, with a normal browser you will see like the, the the Chrome on the top. That's <laughs> that's a <laughs> term. Chrome is a slightly overloaded term in development. Uh, yeah. Our our application is named Chrome. Uh, we have the Chrome browser and also the the kind of buttons and the, the URL bar and mm-hmm. and stuff like that. That's what we call the Chrome in a browser as well. Like the interface in the browser. Yeah, that's, that's not the Chrome. The site. It is uh, the browser. Yeah. That's the Chrome part of the browser. So um, what we can do with progressive web apps um, is that we are allowed to put colors there. So we we can have that um, be more specific to the site you're on. Uh, Mm -hmm. And we have (coughs) colors on our sites. We we have each each of (laughs) our brands have one primary couple of uh, colors. colors. Have one primary color and one secondary color. Yeah. At least. So we thought we'd uh, we'd uh, change our our um, our DOM to to uh, get the right color uh, around the URL bar and stuff like that. It's a small thing, but it's a step in the correct direction. So um, this is how our site looks today um, on my uh, normal screen. Can we show? Can you show on yeah. on the browser? Can you go the on the device? browser? Let's see if it works. The normal browser. The oh, three. <laughs> Yay! There it is. Yeah. So that's that's this our. Is production, but it's okay. Yeah, this is uh, your machine actually. Yeah, that's running on my machine. I can do. Okay, uh, start again. Nope, I can't. So. Uh, so you see the the gray part on the top. Uh, where you have the home button, the URL bar, the tab counter, and the shish kebab. Uh, <laughs> shish kebab uh, menu. Yeah. yeah. The, the three dots. <laughs> yeah. um, that's that's gray. And we would like that to be kind of the same color as our, our main site's color. Oh, you mean this the shish kebab? Yeah. 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 Oh, so you see the orange, orange line across? That's actually our color. That's the color we're going to, to make it Story. into now. Yeah, and uh, we can. I'm um, just uh, preparing one more uh, uh, display, and uh, not yet. And uh, uh, this is another store that we have. This is a makeup store. Blush. Blush. Uh, the same, same code, the same uh, everything, but uh, different content. But if you scroll different. to the top here, yep. Just uh, design question. Yep. The line here is black. Yep. Is the primary color for this store black? Yeah. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's pink. Yeah, it's pink. That's true. But uh, I think Good that we said that because we haven't made this yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that perhaps we are going to use the black. Yeah, 
Yeah. We will decide. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. So I think right. yeah we can test it. <coughs> so yeah. um, I'm now uh, ready to um, run the site. This is the site running on my machine, so it's connected to our development database and stuff. So you, what the campaigns and stuff you'll see here aren't real. You can't buy at these prices. But we can. We can, of course, but. But only, only dev develop <laughs> only in the dev we, can we only don't get the development version yeah, of it all means the goods. We, we get the <laughs> we get yes. the invoices and we get to pay but we yeah. never get the stuff never oh, get the goods that's, <laughs> yeah. that's not good enough yeah. so um, in order to in order to make such a color you have to add some stuff to to the head of your uh, your site so uh, a website hi there thanks for looking yeah. <laughs> you put it there yes <laughs> Many years ago. Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. So um, a, w a website is, is really an HTML document, um, and uh, in uh, an HTML document you have a head section. In this section you have stuff like the title. This is what uh, is shown in the top of your tab, yep. and you have lots of other things like what's the shortcut icon. So that sets the. You can't see the icon here because I'm not really running an HTTPS locally, but this icon. Oh, it does work actually. It does work. Yeah. So this icon, stuff like that. Um, this is where we can add some tags that will, uh, if it's running in a browser that supports it, and the mobile browsers do, yep. um, it will skin the browser to the correct color. Mm -hmm. So that that's our task. A small and relatively contained task. So here's some code. As I said, we are uh, we are running in MVC, ASP.NET MVC, um, and this is how we actually show all the metadata in the top of the uh, the page. So this is a component we've made that creates the head, mm -hmm. um, and it calls on another component which we call the metadata controller, and it calls the show all metadata uh, method on that. So if we go into that can i just put mm -hmm. in one yeah. uh, word here that uh, we <coughs> have made our own structure we are not following the default dot net mvc structure yeah. models here components yeah. there uh, controllers there views and so on we have uh, split it into one component containing everything yeah yeah because also just to f complete it we have made our own uh, if you go back to the head i think yeah you can see that HTML component, we have made uh, our own uh, code to get this component's view as a partial uh, because of performance, actually. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the original thing didn't perform the way we needed it to, so we had to make some stuff there. Also, um, if you install a new MVC application, as you said, yeah. uh, it, it separates by default into this is where you put your controllers, this is where you put your views. We think that's basically a bad thing to do. Uh, we would much prefer that you can go into a folder and then you will find everything you need to work with that, mm -hmm. whatever you, it is you're working with. Mm -hmm. So we've tried to even put the, the styling there mm -hmm. and, also and the, the JavaScript, JavaScript yeah. and everything. So, so each component is very contained. So yeah. everything code related to that component lives in that one folder instead of spreading it out to yeah. four maybe five different yeah. folders and this comes from the single responsibility uh, principle where, where uh, a file should have one reason to change uh, and really a path should have mm. one reason to change yep. right let's cool. go look at the uh, show me metadata. metadata so um now we are in a controller um the controller of a site uh, mvc site uh, that's Whenever you go to a URL, this is where, where, the, where you will end up. This is the code that will actually run. Um, so, if you go to the show all metadata action here, uh, we will return you a p partial view called all metadata, and uh, we into that we will put the metadata that we get from a data provider. Again, this looks kind of difficult. It's it's not immediately obvious but uh, having uh, what we call anemic controllers controllers that don't really do anything they uh, merely um, call on other stuff that does stuff 
Um, do they more direct the flow than do any code? Yeah. Just so basically any, any class you write should do one thing, right? Uh, and if it <laughs> both fine. directs flow and knows how to calculate or do something, that is two things. So in order to keep our classes small, testable and, and easy to change and easy to understand, we separate these things into separate uh, files. So the show all metadata doesn't actually know um, how to get meta metadata, but it knows that there's a view with a name and it knows it has a friend that knows how to get the data and it calls on that friend. <laughs> so let's go into the interesting bit, bit here, which is the get metadata. We, we could look at, oh, let's not look at the view. That's not that interesting, is it? So that's an interface. Navigate to. Don't you know all the shortcuts by mind? I, I thought I did, but I might have pressed wrong. Might it be the remote, remote desktop, desktop part? Yeah, it could be remote desktop messing up. Yeah. That's exactly that. That it is. So we have lots of tests, as you can see. We have a lot of metadata uh, <laughs> yes, providers for, for different kinds of stuff. But let's look at the uh, yeah, because Some of our pages need a different set of metadata because we want to be able to show them better, for instance, in Google. So Google defines a few metadata stuff about this is a product page, and this page contains uh, pricing and stock availability and stuff. So metadata can be or is, as you saw, page dependent. Yeah. So uh, what what our metadata uh, model or uh, layout page model provider here uh, does in the get metadata is it returns a metadata model. Now, a model in in the model view controller uh, pattern is is the actual data that you're working on. So here we've created a specific class that holds the information um, that the view needs to render stuff. If we go back to the page, you can see that we have lots of meta stuff. Right? We have meta name, meta name, etc. And down here we have meta property. Yep. So these have been separated. So we have meta properties here and meta names here. Now, what we need to know is, um, is this color information supposed to be in in uh, one of those meta names or meta properties it's going to be a name a meta name yep. so let's go into the get meta name data oh, again <laughs> there we go what do we see here <coughs> we see that we add a cache post key a title a description and then we add some tracking metadata um, I do. Yes. Mm. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what you do. So, do we <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so all this gets blocked off basically by ad blockers. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, no, meta, no, the tracking, the, the tracking doesn't get no. blocked, but the actual user. As long blocks. as it's served first party from mm. our site, yeah. you can't block it unless you manually go in and block yeah. the resource. So you, can, you can see it here. We have the cache bust key. We're not we have a title, a no, description, no, no. and We're then very kind of. here comes some some tracking stuff, I'm guessing. Search console verifications. Yeah. So we want to add stuff into that. And we've <coughs> already uh, made one meta method to add tracking metadata. So let's, uh, let's follow the same pattern. And uh, some... Uh, some should we call this um, colorizer theme, theme uh, site theme colorizer? So do you want to provider be man provider <laughs> manager factory <laughs> controller? No. So you want to be <laughs> so specific, or do you want to build more a general <coughs> thing like a progressive metadata, or let's call it progressifier? Progressifier. <laughs> because, or is it there only one metadata thing we're going to add in the long run? Uh, multiple meta. There will be more. Will there? 
Could, um, be, could be to start some place. That, that's always a, an interesting discussion. Should yep. we go general at first, or should we go very specific and then generalize when we know more? Yeah, we can do and that. I like the, the last yeah. one. We know that there uh, will be more icons and uh, splash screens and so on. But yeah, uh, yeah. let's. I think go right specific. now we are going with the store color color, and I always write it with a U, but. Yeah, that's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Color it's theme are you uh, out of your mind. You can't do data. That. No, don't you use it? That's okay. It's okay for my thing. store color theme. That's yep. a nice name. Yep. So it you concat in the store color theme. Yep. Concat is short for concatenate, which is normal I name. I think our viewers thing. might know. Yeah. So let's create that method. Uh, I know. <laughs> Now, uh, this expects to get a, um, an i-enumerable with key-value pairs. Nice. What is an i-enumerable <laughs> with key-value pairs? <laughs> We're just going to drink. Yeah. Everyone drink. <laughs> There's some more water here. <laughs> well, that's a dictionary, of yeah. course. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Thank that's you, what Thomas. I was about to say. <laughs> Thank uh, God we have Thomas here. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 there's, yeah. a re there's a reason though, uh, well, an, uh, a natural question here would be why don't I just add it as a new new thing up here? Yeah, just add a comma behind and then yeah. the brackets. I could do that. Because I also know how to code. So. <laughs> but I have uh, this keyboard. And uh, then I'd have to mm. remember the name of it, like it's uh, theme uh, color, color or something like that. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> The thing yep. is, browsers are um, magnificent beasts, uh, and they often need special treatment. Yep. So if you if you want this to work in Chrome, we need one tag. If you want it to work in Edge, we need a slightly different tag. Uh, iPhones are always special. Um, so um, I know, yes. I already know that we are going to need more tags. That's why I'm concatting in a list of them. Do we need more tags? <laughs> yes, we do. You oh, can never can. get enough tags. For this very purpose. Tags for that. Yep. For this very purpose. Huh. And to figure out that, I'm, I uh, uh, visited ssn.no, okay. right? Yep. We saw that they had some... Uh, Student cool, some uh, sheep not in Norge. All right. Uh, because they had this very nicely done in their head. They have exactly what we need. Meta actually. name, meta name, meta name, meta name. These four are the ones we're going to need. Oh, uh, so you're doing, you're going out and doing even more than that. This is not progressive web app. No, but this yeah. is progressive web app plus supporting tiles in Windows. Yes. While we're at this it. one is <laughs> and supporting like. Yeah, so we are adding a theme color to our <coughs> sites. Yeah. Uh, so and that yeah. will be what the, um, the mobile cool. browsers will use. Mm -hmm. So we need to remember these four. Everybody has seen them, so now you remember them, right? Yep. And I forgot them again. Yeah. Okay. We can copy and paste, right? Yeah, we can. So theme I can should then be with a some new dictionary. Of string string. Do you use uppercase string or lowercase string? Always lowercase. And why is that? Because the uppercase is silly and you should never use it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> uppercase string is Java. I know there's an uppercase string object, but don't mm -hmm. use it. It's Java. I come from a Java background. Yeah, so don't use it. Okay. <clears throat> you can use it if you write Java, of course. Yep. But in uh, C Sharp, which was made slightly later than Java. But they, why are both supported if you should not use the one? You know what I suspect? To be able to copy and paste Java code into C Sharp. Because <laughs> that was an important thing when C Sharp was new. Because Java was already big. I don't know that, I suspect it. <laughs> so now we need uh, to add these, um, these properties, right? Um, the first one was called MS Application Nav Button Color. MS Application. <coughs> so we have a color. Let's just uh, hard code one for now. Because That's this platform runs black. multiple stores. 
So yes. How are you gonna solve that one? We yeah. will get to that point. I am I going too fast forward for you now? Yes, you are too fast, young one. Just do it. <laughs> he, has a, he has a shirt on. That's so the next yeah. one is Apple Mobile Web I'm App Status Bar manager. Style. He's yeah. both young and he has the shirt. Yes. It's very strange. You know, mil millennials and stuff. Status Bar yeah. Style. <laughs> I like that you look at it, but you don't copy paste it. Of course I don't. You type it by. I am a professional developer. We never <laughs> copy and paste code. Well, <laughs> we just steal code. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, inspired by uh, code. <laughs> but, we, but we are giving reference. It is by reference. Yes. Yeah. So it is. it's not like we're just taking it. So we're the next one is MS application tile color with special. We're taking and saying thank you. <laughs> oh. Wrong. Hmm? So do you know the difference Good. between MS application nav button color and MS application title color? I know, but uh, I want you to tell me. No, I don't know. No. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well played. So the next one was a theme color, the one that actually makes sense. Yes. Because so. the last one, that's the modern one that all the mobile yeah. browsers read. So in, in a perfect world, we would only need that. Yeah. But um, even the world though perfect, all, so. all, the world is almost perfect. Oh, it but is. even though all, all browsers will probably start supporting this uh people will be on old browsers and we wanted to work on old browsers as well because mobile browsers in particular are very rarely updated except my OS. <laughs> right so now we have <laughs> now we have something that returns a store color theme we have a red squiggly here squiggly lines you need to return it yes <laughs> Don't slap yourself. It makes strange noises. I'm sorry. About Let's that. see if it builds. Can we build it and run it and see it? Let's try. What color did you put? Have you been I reading put the time? A and what? Almost black, a dark gray. Dark gray. So you know hex colors. <laughs> yes. Uh, you always sort of. Yeah, I do. of course I do. Yeah, hex Is colors are easy. Um, colors in, in on the web are in RGB values, uh, so they are from 0 to F. Um, so the first two are red, the second two are green, and the last two are blue. But then you, you do, just mix and match. If you do a three-digit three shortcut. I don't know if you... Uh, then if you the first know. one is red, the second one is green, and the third one is blue. You passed the best. Cool. Congratulations. Can I get a job? <laughs> you have the, the yeah. data certificate. Yeah. Yes, here. I am now a front-end developer. Should we speed this up a little bit? Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to browse your machine right now. Have you just built? I have just built, yes. Yep. Cool! So, did we get it in the oh. head? And we have an updated where... Should we... we hey, oh. look at that, Thomas. It worked! Yay! Now it's the Are wrong we surprised? Color. It yeah. is the wrong color, yeah. but... It worked. It worked. it worked. That is really cool. You did front end code. Yes. In the back end. In the back end. In the back end. <laughs> I is front end developer. So yes, now you are. Let's uh, let's do something more back end yeah, and figure out the correct uh, correct um, color, right? Yep. So this color here, this is only correct on blush. It's not correct on blush. It's either. not really correct on blush, but it's their black. Yep. Should they have pink or should they have black? Should have pink. I okay. think they I should have pink. It would be mm. nicer. Cool. More popping. Yep. Pop. Let's pop. use it then. Mm -hmm. Right. So we need to figure out the correct uh, color. But that's, again, single responsibility. Uh, that's like not really... To, to make a dictionary and return it, isn't that enough? Sh shouldn't, shouldn't that be in a different method? Yeah, I think. And also, uh, yeah. Because now you're trying to get each store's specific color. Yep. It really irks me to to scribe to write color with uh, just an O. But mm. Yeah, try, get over it. Yes, I will. <laughs> right. You know, I also prefer the U. Yeah, I prefer yeah. me. Oh. 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 oh, no. I know that we are already already in a class here where we have something called the store object. Um, so that helps us a lot here. Um, and I know that each store has uh, a caption, which would be the store's name. So here caption. would be 
complete.no, for instance. Let's not call it name. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> Let's call it caption. That it's the be, caption. That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Now you're just talking yeah. crazy talk. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Color with you, some call names for captions. <laughs> so, now I'm going to write something and then you're going to critique it. <laughs> I'm seeing where this is going. <laughs> Stop, don't do it. <laughs> Can you do a switch case, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite okay. uh, operator. One of our UXs now says pink, so thank oh, you, Agnato. It's UX approved as well, so... Yeah. We so now we just uh, misses QA. If yeah. QA can join our ch chat and uh, approve it... This then, is then we can push this to production. <laughs> <laughs> right away. <laughs> this, this is not acceptable, is it? Right? Because then I need to add all the... Yeah. As all the domains. So, okay, now I'm going to find your color codes. Uh, normally, we would do this uh, by variables in our deployment scripts and so on. We are or, not or in the database yeah, or something somewhere. Like that. But we are not going to do that right do now. Do the values change that often that they we change need to go to the No, database. but Fairly. the one day that they change, then we need to know that it's here, it's here as well. And what what if and, we and were hit by also the when we but add a new you store. need also to know that it's in the deployment script or in the yeah, but variables that's where you're going to look anyway i don't agree with your solution but great let's but go ahead. anyways I only we have are a shirt on so i can't say anything <laughs> anyways we are now creating a dictionary with the colors so yeah. you are getting your will anyhow Whatever. Are we on time? How are we going? We are way over our time. Should we speed up things? Yeah. We cool. are speeding up. Are F8. Sorry. B9, 12. Oh, you think I'm ready for That's you? not correct, is it? I thought it was F7. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Let's see the buttons. If you're trying to get no, our prim primary color. This is correct. What have I done wrong here? I don't know. I don't know. Mm, so, so what the, the you need to set the type of the. Yeah. What do the lines tell you? Do, you ask the do the squiggly line talk? Yes, they they talk to me in my sleep. Yes. <laughs> in your sleep. Okay. Yep. So we are creating a new dictionary called store colors. Let's also follow the convention <laughs> and do a, an underscore. That's a usual convention in the .NET world that underscore something means it's a field on the class you're in. So uh, we can just copy that for our uh, Danish and Swedish friends. And I copied the wrong Yeah, you lines. copied the copied empty the line. line. Great work. No, you are the lead software architect. Oh, so oh you're a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you having that title? <laughs> what? what is happening? I, I think. <laughs> I actually think my. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Copy. Come on. Paste, paste. Thank there you. There you go. Let's see. You know computers. DK. And then you can add blush. A new blush. And blush is then. Because complete stores are the same color for all. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Blush is, let's see, yep, pretty, pink. pretty pink, and it's BD0074. Did you do that by inspecting the DOM? Yep. yep. That's <laughs> how we do it. <laughs> That's how we do it. I'm um, MPX. Uh, oh, yep. So you want to do all? Yeah, we do it all. Let's do it all. MPX is blue. Yeah. So you know hex, so you can... Yeah, you can you just, just say blue. <laughs> it won't be the right blue. Um, blue, blue. Uh, 007 AB4. 007 AB4. AB4. UB40. Now, we should probably have done this beforehand. So we yeah, we, we did, but we had to delete that code. Yeah. Oh. Because Not everything wrong. crashed. Uh -huh. Oh, now you uh, told them that we were... Uh, Professionals. Yeah, <laughs> that we were preparing this. Mm -hmm. Okay, EA6A... Two zero. For both of them. Yeah. We could and use uh, then uh, we have the pharmacy. We have the pharmacy <laughs> as well. I did, but I had to delete that as well. <laughs> it was a real thing. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for pharmacy? the pharmacy? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure, sure, the pharmacy sure. is two four D zero eight six. Okay. So you weren't ready. You're lying. Yeah. Two 
two four D zero eight six. I'm impressed. He is ready. He's always ready. That's why he's the lead software. Yeah, yes. <laughs> that's why you have that. Okay, so this the last comma there, uh, Thomas. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on line, is that okay? On that 37? Is okay yeah. in C sharp. Okay. It wouldn't no. have been okay if it was JSON. Or, or yeah. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but do uh, you need it? I, I like to leave it because then when I have to add another one, I can just yeah. do that. Hey, we have the QA represented. Hi, Agnieszka. Yeah. We have some feedback there from, from Agnieszka, and she mm -hmm. says that um, QA approval takes time, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so now, now we can remove you do it very this, thoroughly, so this horrible we like code, that. and do something much better, which would be something like uh, um, tidy SS use bar. I'm using bar. Not in the string get store color, but that was auto generated. I guess it's line eighty nine the dictionary. Bar return. I could do dynamic. But I'm I'm not that's sure. returned, obviously. Yeah. I don't know where he was. Probably, probably on the on, on the, the field. field. Yeah. Here we go caption. So, will this work? I don't know. It will probably compile. Oh, I know it won't work. Uh -huh. no. Why do you know that? Because. Because, several reasons. The f first, the initial reason is that caption. Um, I know this. Uh, on complete NO, for instance, is a capital K complete dot NO. Mm. So that's why you chose chosen string matching, because you know it's the data is messy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not uh, the better real, real, real life architect messy. here. But goodbye, Andrea. Bye, Andrea. Bye. <laughs> that's every episode we do. Yep. It's <laughs> always goodbye to Andrea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I had to lower invariant it so that I can can get a match. But we still might fail if we're in what happens Turkish language. I add my no. own store. Yeah, if you add Simon's your new store, shirt shop. it won't work. <laughs> so <laughs> what we actually need to do here is to first check whether um, let's um, let's pull out this. This is the key we're going to look look for. Yeah, we really need to speed up. Put on your uh, this. put on your uh, power gloves. Yeah. <laughs> color dot we could also do key. We could also do the happy path. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Happy path. Happy path. Happy path. Happy path. Happy path. Happy, happy path. So What's the happy, happy path? Happy path is we don't do any email tricks. Oh, okay. That's yeah, why we ignore this and that's just move why on. I am a lead software developer because I don't do happy path. <laughs> When we're on live YouTube, we may need to do that. <laughs> right, like that. So what now I'm defaulting to just a color. Uh, but that's this not should really never happen. Yeah, but, but but the thing is, this is not our uh, the fullback color. The fullback color of complete group. But we are going to just continue. I'll skip that. Yeah, and move on. I'm building. Go we need there. to please the design department as well. Yeah. yeah. Now it should work. If you show switch it over to the ear. Oh, uh, hold on. Your thing. Please hold on. on. <coughs> now, let's look at this. Well, no, now we can. Can we get this on my iPhone as well? Yeah, do you have Team Viewer installed? Ah, not this one. No. Please say it worked. You'd need to wait for it to actually load after it, it has loads. to go to space. Come back. <laughs> Would imagine we're not right next to each other. Oh, oh, given key was not present. So he didn't what? add the. Uh, can, can you go? Can you go back? Show the error message one more time. Thomas. Yeah. So we crashed. That is fun. Get store color crashed. Given key was not present. A live crash. But didn't I test for that? Did you? If the store color contains the key, then I get it. Otherwise, so how could that happen? Which line did it fail on, though? No, it worked. Watch my screen. Oh. <laughs> it worked. It, it worked. worked. That was strange. Cool. 
It did work. You must have saved okay. it. And not, okay. Details. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, second test then. Can you change the store on your local machine to, for instance, blush and we can see how it looks? Yes. That's what I can do. But you don't need to... Uh, strawberry! <laughs> 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 Five. <laughs> Five. Oh, it's a secret message. Uh -huh. we, we didn't tell you. <laughs> no, no, obviously strawberry, not. Strawberry! Strawberry! Okay. Okay. Or I, I suggest in card. While, card while, while, while we, he's uh, switching store to blush, should we. Uh, should take we a talk a about the sticker I have on my machine? Uh, no, 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 it's good. No? Interact with a chat. We actually oh. have a question. So yeah. we've had this before. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually. We watch our first episode. Yeah, we uh, actually go into detail. Mm hmm. But on a very uh, quick level, the question here is: What kind of background do you guys have? Uh, have you studied programming, or are you just self-taught? Yep, uh, I can start. I have a bachelor degree in informatics from the uh, university college in Oslo. I have a couple of years of uh, small uh, courses <laughs> and self-taught, uh, self-taught for the rest of it. I'm a good mix. I have a, uh, I do have a bachelor's degree and a master's degree, but not in programming. Yeah. And I am pretty much also self-taught, yep. programming-wise. I've uh, studied uh, at something called the uh, I ICT Professional Studies in the University of Bergen. There is no it was supposed to lead up to a master, but I got a job, so <laughs> I never finished my master. <laughs> okay, switch to my screen before it loads, then you can see that it actually loads. What, do you, what are you talking about? We are planning now to get blush and yeah. not complete. That's right. Uh, so when you now change the store, Thomas? Through the magic cheat code yeah. that we know. Mm -hmm. uh, there you have it. Yay! And it's Ooh, pink. pink! Nice. Looks Ooh. great! Pink look better, would look better than black. Yeah. I agree. I agree. So now it's popping. So our UX, uh, Agneta, she, uh, she approved it. She approved the pink. And our QA is about to say, go. I think. Yeah, I think that uh, <laughs> this will do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the pharmacy. Yeah. The pharmacy. Yeah. So change that. 336. That is, you're not on my screen, right? No. Yeah. Oh, so you're not running the bat file. We have a uh, file for this. I know, but I you have a you like don't like that. 336. Manual. Oh, you have a cheat, <laughs> cheat sheet as well. Cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Cheat happens. Cheat happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Right. We should now be down. <laughs> okay, so if pharmacy works now, Agnieszka, oh, you approve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure she can find something to. Yeah. Yeah. We have probably done something. So, wrong. Um, another comment here, or question actually. Hi, people. Can you show us some CSS and script coding? There you have it. Um, Ooh, yes. Cool. Yes and no. But not today. Not today. Uh, okay. Next time we can uh, uh, do that. We have also done some earlier, but we actually have another episode where we jump into Flexbox. Yeah. We have a Flexbox episode. Flexbox episode. It's that, in Norwegian. That is Norwegian. Uh, but it's a lot of Flexbox. A lot of fun. Lot of fun. Yeah. Look at sure. this one. Yeah, that looks Pretty. actually mm -hmm. quite cool. Yeah. Compare it to the production version. Yeah, open the open a new tab. Strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you went back to me just in case <laughs> I was showing strawberry. Something. I panicked. Someone said strawberry. I just pushed the button. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so strawberry means five. Okay, th now we can hit three. <laughs> three. There you have it. Yeah, so that's what it looks like uh, normally. No, no. Can, can you just switch back? back? Yeah. yeah. And that's. Uh, our suggestion for how it could look. Yeah. I forgot. Now, we were also planning that if we had time, we might make uh, like a uh, a manifest yeah. that would uh, would let mobile users uh, save the site to their home screen with a, an icon and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think we have time for that today. Nope. Nope. So definitely not. So this is the first step of making our web shop progressive. Yeah. Or a web app. Tiny, 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 tiny step. It's a tiny step in the right <laughs> yeah. direction. Yeah, it is. But uh, we are going to push this to production, right? Yeah. So when can people see it? Well, uh, I am going to push it uh, to our master branch today uh -huh. because it's been coded 
in in a mob in a mob so, so we, don't we know it's pretty okay we don't and then if qa to. accept it yeah. uh, it will be uh, put into a test system probably on monday or tuesday yeah and if we're lucky this will be uh, in production possibly next week sometime so uh, we have a longer lead time than we'd like but that's the way it is still right now still okay working on it yeah we are working on it have you written any tests for this no do I you haven't. need to write any tests for this for this i don't think we need tests mm -hmm. actually uh this is a purely like visual thing and there's not really no logic to it no there's actually no logic logic we didn't write a single if statement we do have a uh, null coalescent check though so that yeah. is that is a uh, built-in that is if logic statement. if statement yeah uh, other than that, it's just data actually. Yep. So uh, any tests we'd make for it would just be replicating the data and verifying that we got that data back. So basically duplicating the code we've already yeah. just written. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. Cool. Actually, yeah, more than so duplicating. So how are we on the mood uh, generator? Thing? Our mood generator is has getting greener. Is getting greener. We yeah. we, we have We're some potential. Lacking a few. Need a more. We're on. We're on 17 likes and zero dislikes. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Here's the URL on the chat. Um, Tidy asks a question. Did you press to slash now or did you press to? Is that a question for us or for? Yeah. Just paste it one more time. Sorry. Paste it one. Paste what? it one what? more time. What? Because and I don't know if he's linking to the vote site. I know or that the he is sites. working uh, linking to the correct one. Perfect. <laughs> Ignore me. Yes. Thank you. Um, what are you doing now, Thomas? Something you uh -huh. want to show? <laughs> yes. No, just we can. I I have okay. some questions regarding this. This, this, this. But there's. Is it okay to it, show it now? Yeah. This is strawberry. But there, there, <laughs> but there is an interesting question in the chat here. Yeah. Which I. What do you think? Was are you making responsive version of the pages or the one? Well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about both of them actually. They're two yeah. good, interesting questions here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'll take Terry's first. Yep. Tare, he's asking, <coughs> are you making responsive version of the pages? Are we making responsive versions of the pages? No. What do you yes. mean by that? In general, actually? yes, we do every day. Uh, we do believe our site's pretty responsive. There are a few pages left that we haven't touched yet, but but it's not a separate version. The, nope. the whole store is also responsive. Yes, yep. the same there is code one code. Is so we have responsive. changed our site so that it adapts to the um, the viewport that it's rendered in. So if we do the classic uh, resize the browser trick, it should adjust based on the size yeah. of the you browser. Have, uh, can you put it over to me? I will go F12. <laughs> Control Shift I. And then take that. And then it shoots a device on the top because that's much more fancy. Yeah. Let's uh, go. Uh, that's of course how everyone is doing it. Yes. And then you <laughs> press F12 again. That's how you <laughs> test the responsive pages. <laughs> oh, it's getting greener. Cool. It works. Nice. 24. I put out the latest code uh, a couple of weeks ago. So this is how we actually test whether uh, whether it works on the different sizes. We do have actual devices as well. Yeah. We have yep. a lot of actual devices. We sell them, so. <laughs> Them. So I hope Come I work for us. I we hope just uh, throw devices. <laughs> I hope that answers your question, Talia. So we do uh, focus on having adaptive web pages or responsive. As yeah, we like to call it adaptive. Yeah, they they yeah. adapt to screen size, yeah. but yeah, the because if, if 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 you <laughs> say responsive to us, that sounds like that it responds quickly. Yeah, and, th and we were, we're working on that as well, yes. but it's a slightly different dimension. Our, uh, our, uh, what, are, what's, uh, yes, uh, what uh, is uh, his name? Is, uh, is uh, are you our technical, <laughs> you? technical <laughs> guy now? Are you our producer? What um, is I'm the producer. Right you are produce, producer. producer. So our producer is drawing circles on the table. <laughs> and uh, I think that means that he wants us to wrap up. Oh. So we need to round do the t-shirt yeah. round. Mm, uh, I have no t-shirt, thank you. <laughs> you have no one? I have a t-shirt. Yes, okay. yeah, that's a Superman outfit, that's which is comfortable. Outfit. Oh, you see, you don't want to show it. No, that's, I have glasses and Superman suit underneath. So you... There's uh, no phone okay. boxes yeah. here, so I can... Nope. I see. Thomas? Yeah, uh, I have a t-shirt from... Uh, I 
do believe they're called Extra Credits. It's a YouTube channel. Uh, great, great channel. Uh, talking about they have history, they have uh, games, they have lots of stuff. Cool. Mr. I am wearing a t shirt I've used before. This yeah, is from yeah. NDC 2011, NDC Oslo. Yep. Conference there. Out of office. While I'm in office. But not in front of my desk. So I am out of True. office. True. And actually, the truth is that. That was easy. The truth is that you changed to that t-shirt when you were out of office. Was a button. It's a button. Mm. When yeah. I was out of office? Yeah, well, I, you I, went I, out of your yes, desk. Yes, I did. Changed your t-shirt here? Yeah. Right in front of the camera. But I... No, did I? I did. We, I don't I, think I, you're I did record. No. Oh, dear. No. Oh, cool. there, oh, there. I have a Star Wars t-shirt. I got it from my son at Christmas. He loves it. I love it. You got it for your son? From. From, from your son. Yeah. And, uh, and it's an uh, old school cast as well. Yeah. Yes. He loves it really, really much. So I think he's going to turn out as a great kid. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we yeah, have made yeah. code, code, code in our real code base. I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, wobbling my screen just to show the Umbraco sticker. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, a, you're a kind of evangelist for Umbraco. Yeah, I did. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have made code in our uh, main application. It runs And we have our most first of our English-speaking show. Yeah. You want to have a retrospective in four, uh, four minutes? Yeah. How did you think this went? I think it went OK. Yeah. Guys? I think we can prepare the code a little more next time. Even more? Could yeah. be faster. <laughs> mm. Could be faster. Could be faster. Yeah, it's not many lines we created. We but we can fix it. We, can, we, can, we can do that afterwards, right? Oh, okay. We don't do that now. I thought that was okay now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay, you, guys. Mr. Producer Shirtman. Welcome. Well, anything, anything else, else here? No, I don't. No. We have a. Yeah, do we have one more we have question? This subscribe. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. For this YouTube that school down. thing. Okay. Or do you want to do one more question? No, nah, let's do that. Let's do the code panel school. hashtag on Twitter. No. The you are no, follow that's, this that's page. There. No, no, no. Follow us on Facebook. Yeah, that, that's the, the Twitter. Yeah, that's the hashtag. Yeah. And then I. Uh, no. <laughs> We're not good at pointing at the YouTube thing yet. No. no. Yes, and uh, all the corners. Subscribe and like and so on down to the right or something. Yeah, um, we'll be down there. Down here, some. We'll be down there. Yeah, there. down there. I think. Yeah, yeah. Over there. Press the subscribe button, like button, write a comment. And if also, please haven't. feel free to ask questions uh, for what we can add or do in our code base. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, have it to uh, consideration if we can do that live and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I've pushed. So you have pushed it. You've actually pushed it. Should we show the code? But not to master. I pushed it to my own branch. Of course. Your own branch. Mm -hmm. But cool. I can bring it to master. Probably need a task as well. Yeah, in that Jira. would be nice. Let's not go into Jira now. Oh, no. Okay, guys. Are we there? Thank you for watching. It was a great pleasure. A lot of fun. A lot yeah. of fun. It, fun. it was actually... I, I liked it I liked it in English. Yeah. yeah. And also, the names are swapped. Yeah. <laughs> get up, get up here. <laughs> okay, so we can leave on a high note. There yes. we go. There you go. So, uh, thank you for watching, everyone. See you next time. Probably not many days, weeks. Next are, are you waving? As I don't know. I'm just thinking about what up? button I should press. <laughs> we'll take the button. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.